So the complex fraction is 1. Take away 3 over i squared plus i. So we know, we know, what do we know? We know what i squared is. So let me write it here. We know that i squared is equal to the value negative 1. So the first step, I'm going to substitute that for i squared. So now I have 1 minus 3 over negative 1 plus i. Okay, so now I'm going to just look at this like as though it is a fraction problem. I'm subtracting one fraction from the other fraction. So let me rewrite my first fraction as an equivalent fraction using the denominator that I have. This will be negative 1 plus i over negative 1 plus i minus 3 over negative 1 plus i. Okay. Now that we have the same denominators, I can just combine the numerators. Let's do that. So now I have negative 1 plus i minus 3. So now this will be equal to, let's simplify the numerator, negative 1 minus 3 will be negative 4 plus i over negative 1 plus i. Okay. So even though I have simplified the two fractions to one fraction, I cannot leave it like this. In order to write our answer in the standard form, I have to use the complex conjugate and multiply and divide this fraction. So I'm going to do that now. So let's write it on the right hand side here. So now I have negative 4 plus i over negative 1 plus i multiply by negative 1 minus i. The complex conjugate of negative 1 plus i is negative 1 minus i. So because I'm multiplying and dividing by the same quantity, that's like multiplying by a 1. It doesn't change the value of the original expression. So let's continue and simplify this. So now I have negative 4 times negative 1. And then I have negative 4 times negative i plus i times negative 1 plus i times negative i over. Now in the denominator, you have a plus b times a minus b. That's the form of the denominators. So that's equal to a squared minus b squared. So that will be negative 1 all squared minus b squared, which is your i squared. Continuing to simplify, negative 4 times negative 1, negative 4 times negative i, that's a positive 4i. Then now uh, i times negative 1 plus i times negative 1. So that's a negative i plus i times negative i. That's minus i squared over. Now negative 1 all squared is 1. Minus i squared is negative 1. All right. So now we have 4 plus 4i minus i minus negative 1. So that's going to be a plus 1 over in the denominator we have a 2. So now this simplifies to 4 plus 1 is 5. And then 4i minus i is 3i. So now I can rewrite this as 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2i. So the real part is 5 over 2, and the imaginary part is 3 over 2.